Given a circle and a parabola, there are five possible solutions. They will intersect at one point, two points, three points, or four points, or they will not intersect at all. We will take a closer look at a few of these. We have two systems of equations. Let's solve our bottom equation in terms of x squared. By subtracting 3 from each side of the equation, we have x squared is equal to y minus 3. So we can now write x squared as an expression using only y. So let's substitute this into our first equation in the system for x squared. By doing this, we get y minus 3 plus y squared is equal to 9. Now that our equation is in terms of only one variable, y, let's rewrite the equation by setting it equal to 0. To do this, we will subtract 9 from each side of the equation and combine like terms. The result is y squared plus y minus 12 is equal to 0. Notice that this quadratic can be easily factored. Since the first term is y squared, we know that the first term in each factored term will be y. We know that the product of the second terms will be equal to negative 12, while the sum of the second terms will be 1. So, by factoring, we get the quantity y minus 3 times the quantity y plus 4 equals 0. So setting each factor equal to 0 and solving for y gives us two different y values, 3 and negative 4. Let's substitute these two values into one of the original equations to find the corresponding x values. For the y value of 3, let's substitute 3 into the second equation. So we have 3 equals x squared plus 3. Solving for x results in x equals 0. Next, we will use the same original equation and substitute negative 4 in for y. Solving for x, we get x squared is equal to negative 1. Since we cannot have a square root of a number equal to a negative number, we realize this is an erroneous solution. Therefore, the only solution to this problem is 0, 3. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have a system of equations where the first equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. This is the circle. The second equation is negative y equals x squared minus 3, which is a parabola. Similar to the previous example, we will start by solving for x squared. By doing this, we get that x squared is equal to negative y plus 3. Now we will substitute this into our first equation, x squared plus y squared equals 9. Now that our equation is in terms of only one variable, y, let's rewrite the equation by setting it equal to 0. To do this, subtract 9 from each side of the equation and combine like terms. Again, similar to the previous equation, we can factor. Factoring the trinomial results in the quantity y plus 2 times the quantity y minus 3 equals 0. Setting each factor equal to 0, we get two possible solutions for y. Negative 2 and 3. We need to substitute these back into either equation to find their corresponding x values. When we substitute negative 2 for y in the second equation, we get x squared equals 8. Solving for x, we get 2 times the square root of 2 and negative 2 times the square root of 2 as the x values. When we substitute 3 for y into the second equation, we get x squared equals 3. Solving for x, we get the square root of 3 and negative square root 3. Therefore, there are four solutions to this problem. 2 times square root of 2, negative 2, negative 2 square root of 2, negative 2, square root of 3, 3, and negative square root of 3, 3. Let's take a look at another example. We have a system of equations where the first equation is x squared plus y squared equals 9. This is a circle. The second equation is y equals x squared minus 10, which is a parabola. Let's start by solving for x squared so that we can eventually write the equations with a single variable. To do this, look at the second equation. Add 10 to each side of the equation to solve for x squared. Substitute y plus 10 into the first equation, x squared plus y squared equals 9 for x squared. Now that the equation is in terms of only one variable, 
we are going to rewrite our equation and set it equal to zero. Rewrite the equation in descending powers. To do this, subtract 9 from both sides and combine like terms. This gives us y squared plus y plus 1 equals 0. This polynomial is not easily factorable. In cases like this, we can solve using the quadratic formula. Looking at the equation in terms of y, we have a equals 1, b equals 1, and c equals 1. Substitute these values into the quadratic equation and simplify. We have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1, all divided by the quantity of 2 times 1. Using the order of operations, simplify what is underneath the radical first, which becomes negative 3. Since we cannot take the square root of a negative number, this system of equations has no solution and will never intersect.